Hello everyone and welcome to another Kerbal Space Program video. In today's video we're going to be checking out a bunch of crazy space concepts. We have rockets, we have space planes, and we have a whole host of ridiculous ideas that will probably never ever ever work. Starting off with Skyline, the only space plane on today's list, and perhaps one of the more plausible designs. I'm actually going to be ordering these based on uh, basically their size or their payload capacity. So Skylon is the most realistic design I do want to say on today's list. If you don't know what Skylon is, I'm sure some of you probably do, but for those who don't, it is currently being developed in the United Kingdom. Um, you know, currently being developed, is unlikely to ever fly. Very, very, very uh, unlikely. I'd bet a lot of money on this thing not flying, but who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, it's been in development for a long time, and this is a single stage to orbit space plane. So uh, the gimmick is basically these the two Sabre engines on the side there, and basically they're a jet engine that can turn into a rocket engine. So once you get high enough in the atmosphere and there's not enough air to power... Uh, the jet, they basically switch into rocket mode and start pulling oxidizer from fuel tanks, and then that's how they get the rest of the way into orbit. It's a really cool gimmick. The only problem is that it's basically like uh, magic. Uh, we don't, they haven't really been able to explain how they are going to be able to hit the performance characteristics that are required to be able to actually make this thing an SSTO. Um, not really sure. I don't know. Maybe they got their designs from Hogwarts or something. I don't know. They got they got to think of something wacky to be able to make this thing work. Um, but uh, for for the one you're seeing on screen right now, a really really nice mod for KSP. Um, it was originally developed by uh, uh, the uh, Captain Kippard. Is his name Kippard Kippard? Um, and it's currently being maintained by uh, Jade of Mar after uh, Kippard actually left development. Um, so really good mod. Um, it's actually probably my favorite mod on today's list. Um, use a few mods for sure. Um, and this one is really good. Um, th this plane, it looks really nice. It sounds really nice. Um, and it handles really, really, really nice. Like, uh, I don't know, like, you know, KSP aerodynamics are not great, you know, to be honest. But uh, they could use some improvement. It feels, the, the control surfaces don't really feel like control surfaces. I don't know if any of you ever played, like, a flight simulation game. But, like, if you know what a plane handles, like... KSP planes don't really handle properly. This is this plane has actually been the closest I've seen to a plane feeling a little more realistic. It has a lot more like weight to it, and it's a lot more responsive. Like a lot of times, the KSP control surfaces just like get saturated, if you know what I mean, and then they just like. I think you might be able to see what I mean, but uh, we're gonna actually bring Dior over this thing, and because you know it's obviously reusable, because um, it'd be kind of a shame to ditch those really cool engines, especially since they also have wings. So it. Really no excuse for it not to be reasonable. Um, we are coming screaming through the atmosphere at two kilometers a second. I nearly burned the front half of this thing off, but uh, basically it just nose bomb it towards the runway and it magically somehow slows down, which is pretty surprising, but it actually does. Um, now, landing this thing is a whole different beast because you see those baby wings? Those baby wings do not work when the thing gets slow. It really just falls out of the sky like a rock, and you'll see kind of an awkward transition there um, because they had to do a lot of quick saves and quick loads to be able to land this thing. Basically, the strategy I ended up going with is also the landing gear are not very, very high. So I basically just set the thing to about a little under 10 degrees, which is basically the highest attitude you can have before tail striking. And then I give it a little bit of thrust to kind of use the thrust. Um, so I just hold the pitch and then you increase the thrust, which increases the speed, which will decrease the descent rate, and the opposite does the opposite, obviously. And they basically just kind of baby it on down like so. Um, not the best landing, but this thing, this thing does come in fast, and yet we actually ate up a lot of runway real quick here. So you can see, actually, we're already at the end of the runway, so there's really not room to dilly-dally. Really, just got to get her, get her down, but really happy with this mod. Um, really interesting concept that, you know, is one of the more crazy concepts, but nowhere near the craziest concept. Um, we have a little bit crazier of a concept coming up right now. Some of you may recognize this. Um, if you're a viewer of the Haze Gray Art channel, you probably will recognize it. He has some really good uh, 3D animations, and uh, this is one of his videos. This is the Convair Nexus, which has a very strange way of controlling itself. Uh, it uses that fin there on the side to kind of tip it over. It creates a lot of drags, but not the optimal design. But this thing is a pretty ridiculous design. Um, it was envisioned to be kind of a replacement to the Saturn V. Um, and it was also during the phase in the 60s that we went through when everything had to be reusable for some reason. Um, so we're going to go back to the bottom stage. And this thing is reusable for some reason. 
it's ridiculous this giant this back in the back in the time we thought in the 60s we could just like just like put a few parachutes on it and then anything can be reusable um kind of i don't know if i'd agree with that uh <laughs> none of these designs ever ended up obviously working out clearly um I come, this, this sentence is actually pretty dumb. I come in real, and then I deploy my shoots really low, and it's really bad. Um, this thing does come with uh, a little tiny SRB, kind of like the Soyuz does to kind of cushion the cushion the touchdown. But there you go, pop the shoots, and then we bring her in for a touchdown. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Um, and then we're just going to go back to the second stage, just making its way into orbit. would like to quickly say, if you are enjoying the video, do consider dropping a sub. A subscription that be. I also have a Patreon uh, members and I also have Discord server. Uh, starting a Minecraft server too, so feel free to check that out. Uh, get the plugs, get the plugs out of the way. Also check out the I don't know merch. Um, <laughs> uh, this mod, by the way, I do you want to quickly shout out all the mods? Uh, all the mods are in the description. If you want to go check them out, this is a Nexus um, by uh, Titalik Dreaming. Uh, it was actually it's a little bit older of a mod, or at least in 2015. It does feel a tiny bit incomplete, unfortunately. Um, some of the sounds just aren't there. Um, there's actually no upper stage engine, so you have to kind of like find one that kind of fits. So there's a few downsides to this mod. It's a little bit older, but uh, the actual quality it actually looks really, really, really nice. So uh, do recommend and a really interesting and uh very kind of wacky concept um next up is oh yeah this guy everyone knows this guy and maybe you don't this is perhaps one of the most popular crazy rocket it's kind of it's what you think of when you think of crazy rocket design um this is when some engineers just sat down one day and were just like huh what if we just make everything just just like way bigger and just hope it works no way this would have worked in real life it's the the bottom stage engine is so ridiculous it's just so ridiculous there's no way it would have worked um, even the upper stage engine, there's actually a kind of a weird separation thing here. So I'm actually going to slow the video down as the bottom stage does go ahead and burn out. There it goes. Then we have those little kind of radially mounted thrusters. And then you go and separate them. And then we very slowly pull the stages apart because this thing is very, very heavy. It takes a lot of thrust to get this thing moving. And once we are clear of that bottom stage, we actually can extend the extendable nozzle and then light this thing up and boom. That... That engine feels really powerful, and it does not have that much thrust. Uh, but we'll check back up with the upper stage in just a moment, because right now we have the bottom stage. Like I said, this was a phase in the 60s where everything was reusable, and Sea Dragon was certainly a reusable rocket for some reason. Uh, <laughs> again, not this wouldn't have worked. It's so ridiculously big. It, th there's no way. The, the engine would have just blew itself up. Um, I don't know who thought that this thing would ever work. It wouldn't. Cool scene in For All Mankind, though. <laughs> um, but here we go. Coming on in for a landing. This uh, uh, mod uh, is the Real Scale Sea Dragon by Necro Bones and Zero Kerbal. Really, really good mod. Do highly recommend. And um, this the payload capacity of this thing. I was just launching ore tanks filled up with ore just to try and uh, basically just stuff as much payload as humanly possible in this rocket. This thing weighs a ridiculous 23,915.36 tons. To put that in context, the Nexus, which is the last thing we launched, 2,305 tons. This thing weighs 10 times as much. It is ridiculous. Sea Dragon is crazy design. What, 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 what could top it then, huh? This thing? This, could this thing top it? Um, at first glance, this just looks like a stock, tiny little rocket. Um, but basically, I don't know. Some of you may know what, what I'm going with this because you may have just seen the beginning or the uh, or the thumbnail. But this is uh, this is an Orion drive. Um, and for those of you who don't know what an Orion drive is, this is probably the probably the craziest concept ever ever conceived in in the entire aerospace industry. Aside from me just saying, oh, I made a magic flying broomstick and I'm go to Mars in five seconds. The the most crazy seriously considered design by the government. Um, this thing is basically, you'll see when you pop open our fairing, um, it's pretty, pretty, it's not that big, um, it's just the bottom. And basically the idea is you're just ejecting a bunch of nukes out the back of your rocket and like exploding yourself forward. It is a ridiculous design and it is insanely overpowered. It, it's like magic. Um, it is, it's, you know, theoretically possible, but there's just, 
I do not see us being able to like here, just look at this thing. This I'm playing this back in one time speed. Like let's just look at this thing when I power it up. Look at that! We basically got into orbit in five seconds. It's insane. Look at this thing, and they just keep going, boom, and then ten seconds later we're like falling into the sun. It's insane. Really the only downside of this thing is you really can't use it in an atmosphere because then you're basically just like sending a bajillion nukes on Kerbin, which is you know, not really advisable. So it's just like, we're pulling 70 Gs right now, 70 Gs. So basically the, re the reason I put this thing higher than Sea Dragon is because as long as you can get it into space, you can basically send, you can, the payload will be infinitely big. So this, like, look at this thing. Like this is, I'm not playing this back any, this is one time speed. We're just it's like a warp drive. It's literally a warp drive. Um, <laughs> this mod, by the way, um, uh, stockish Project Orion by Suicidal Nas Nasinti. Uh, kind of hard to pronounce, but geez, this thing. Holy. And speaking of holy awesome people, here's all of the members and the patrons. Thank you guys all for supporting the channel. That's all I have for today. I'd like to thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Please rate or comment to this video once again. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. And bye.